This is John Lohr. I'm here today at the law firm of Gruccio, Pepper, DeSanto, and Ruth. And I'm here with Nicole Curio. Her main area of practice, one of them, is employment law. Uh, Nicole, can you tell me some of the issues and some of the things you do, types of clients you represent in employment law? Sure. We get um, phone calls quite often for uh, individuals who believe that they have been wrongly terminated or perhaps they have suffered uh, harassment at work, at their workplace. Um, so we would meet with them and discuss with them um, why they believe they've been wrongly terminated, why they believe they've been harassed. Um, principally what we would be looking for is if you believe you've been terminated or harassed based on what we like to call a protected class, which would be um, your religious beliefs, race, gender, um, sexual orientation, things of that nature that would make it illegal for um, an employer to terminate you or harass you based on those um, categories. And uh, what what's a common misconception about employment law when people have these one of these issues to, that they bring? Sure, a lot of people will call and they will say that my boss doesn't like me, I'm being treated unfairly, and uh, unfortunately uh, in the law that's not necessarily illegal. Um, so we do have to go through explaining to a lot of people that um, your boss doesn't necessarily have to be nice to you as long as he is not uh, picking on you or harassing you or, or as long as he has not terminated you for an illegal reason, then um, there is not any action that can be taken as far as legal action. Yeah. And um, w w what are some of the issues that people, uh, give me an example of someone that might be harassed in a way for some maybe sexually harassed or some other issue. Give me an example of how that presents itself, the kind of things, so people know exactly how, or at least have an idea of how it's uh, defined. Sure. It, it would typically be a um, an, what we call an adverse employment action. So it could be that anything from um, you have had lost wages, you've lost opportunities for overtime, you have lost... Um, some, something that is a, a benefit of your employment um, and the reason that you have lost that is because of your um, affiliation with a protected class because you are a woman, because you are um, African American, because you are um, homosexual um, so that would make it an illegal action I see. you could pursue. Thank you very much for sharing this important mm -hmm. information with us today. Sure. Thanks. Thank you.